what this video is about is it is hopefully the first video of many in a series that will explain very basically how a 3d image is displayed on a 2d screen like this computer screen and uh, many of you might have wondered how they get it right to display a character or a wall or something and make it look 3d on a 2d surface and how they do rotations and translations and you know how how does a computer actually draw a line even on a screen and um so that's what i'm going to start with the basics of computer graphics and uh what you'll need probably not for this video yet but i'm going to be coding everything in delphi if you have no coding experience whatsoever you can get delphi and follow along i don't think it'll be too hard to follow i'll even post the code and so on um, in the comments or, or something but you don't need to program to understand what i'm what i'm saying here this is basically it's all for understanding's sake I, I love to understand and i think a lot of schools and other institutions have lost the ability to make kids understand they make them recite and they make them remember but nobody ever understands anything so if you don't click what i'm saying in any of the videos please just tell me so i can go back and make it better or try and explain to you so what we're going to start off with is how a computer draws a line and uh, a lot of my friends see me programming you know there's like 20 30 lines of code to draw a line on a screen and they look at me confused and they're like why don't you just tell the computer to draw a line i mean why do you have to write all that so then i asked them okay how do you tell a computer draw line if it doesn't even know what that means you have to tell a computer literally bit by bit what it has to do it has no idea it is simply a processor a big function machine so say we draw a line make it a nice thick one if i draw it like that you can see that the line is nice and straight um, there's no steps there's no you know jagged edges or something as soon as i start moving it up you can see the steps getting more and more and more and it, it doesn't actually look like a line anymore it's sort of a illusion to create a line and um, I'll explain to you why it does that now. Now, as you all might know, the computer only has pixels to work with on your screen. And if you look very closely, you can see pixels making up the entire screen. And a pixel is just basically a block like this. So you'll have a pixel there, pixel there, pixel there. Um, some of them might be different colors, and everything is built up with pixels. I'm assuming most of you would know this, so I don't know why I'm saying this just for basically if you if you've missed something some other hole in your education somewhere um, so when you look at a line that a computer draws you'll see that what it's basically made up of is just a bunch of little blocks arranged in different shapes so for example a line might look like this it goes one two three left then the next one moves one block up and it just continues drawing like that and um, that's basically because it can't really rotate the pixels in the screen itself the pixels are fixed it has to work around that now say we can tell the computer color a certain pixel or fill a certain pixel black with with the color black um, how the computer does that is all machine code and that's that's sort of hard coded into the machine all you do is you give the um, you give it the command and the rest is all electronics which I'm not going to discuss now so just assume that you can tell the computer make pixel XY black so you'll give a certain function let's call that function put pixel and so it'll look something like this put pixel in brackets you will give it a x coordinate a y coordinate and a color value okay for simplicity's sake and just for explaining i'm going to leave out the color just assume that all the pixels we're going to draw are going to be black so now you're left with a very simple 
um, command for the computer. If we say put pixel um, and we enter 20 and 37, the computer is going to go onto your screen, it's going to count 20 pixels to the right and 37 pixels down and it'll make that pixel black. So you can enter any value into the X and any value into the Y and it'll go ahead and color that pixel. So it is very easy for you to conclude then that a line drawn by the computer is just hundreds or thousands of little put pixel commands. So it's going to say put pixel there, let's make this red, put pixel there, 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 there. And you're going to keep on calling that function each time of the different X and a Y value the whole time. And um, if you notice, yeah, the Y value stays the same. In these blocks, the Y value stays the same. Then it changes. One, two, three. Then the Y value changes again. One, two, three. So we can say that for every three sideways X pixels, it changes the Y value of the pixel once. And if you know your line formula, Y equals MX plus C, you will notice that that corresponds to the gradient of a line. Um, I'm assuming you all know the line formula y equals mx plus c, but uh, if you don't, just go Google it. It's actually very simple to understand. Um, it's just an equation to draw a line on a Cartesian plane. So, what you would do when you have a line, um, in a line formula obviously, is uh, when you enter any x value, so say any value on the horizontal part of, of the graph, it'll give you a corresponding y value that relates to that line. So say we get a bunch of random x's and it, it'll spit out the corresponding y's of that line. So say we get one there, then we get one here, there. And so if you keep on doing a random thing, you'll see that all these little points obviously end up connecting if I draw them straight to make a line that looks like that. Obviously we're not we don't have to throw them randomly we're just going to loop through them and draw them from this side to this side. Okay so what are we going to do? We're going to get the starting point of a line say over here, the ending point of a line and for that we only need two points. So you'd write point A is equal to X A Y A and point B is equal to X B Y B. Let's for example say we want to draw a line segment where point A is equal to uh, 3 and what uh, two and the next line segment the last one is equal to five and seven then we just go ahead here and we count our pixels what did we say it was it's a uh, three two five seven then you go okay so it's one two three one two and three four five one two three four five six seven that's going to be your line segment so we have to tell the computer to draw a line from there to there.